that's why I believe this inner work to experience that level of excellency uh, will allow us to see those repeating patterns in order to say, okay, now I've learned from this. Why am I repeating this, this specific scenario? Now let me move on to the next step. And I think that will open up uh, the door to the next uh, uh, level of experience, if you want to call it that, in life and or uh, a professional uh, journey. Yeah, yeah. I think it's... Uh... It, it's interesting because when you're in that kind of stuck job, say say a job that you know you should leave, you do need to lean in and take those steps. So um, th- that can look like, you know, what I, what I was talking about earlier, like little steps into it. Maybe it, it's a side hustle that you start up while you're still working your job, or um, you start to open up ways to express those values and purpose in other ways, and and eventually. It it's like a, a a hole in a wall, you know. Where there's water behind it, and you you make a little tiny hole, and as you do, it, it gets bigger and bigger because the water starts flowing, and, and the energy is like that. So when you start taking those steps forward into your true purpose, doors are going to open, and and stuff's going to happen. So you do need to take action. At the same time, we can be comfortable in the present and um, realize that that there is a certain perfection in, in where and who we are right now as well. I think that level of um, conscientiousness will uh, allow us to be just uh, happier in the role we are today. And then that'll enable us to accelerate in the next experience that we'd love to partake in. Again, whether that's life, professional journey, or so on, that's that's the way I see it nowadays. Whereas before I would linger in my own negative thoughts and wanting to overreach as opposed to stretching myself for new opportunities and new skills and new, uh, uh, and, or, or experience a level of growth mindset. Uh, so, uh, that's the way I see it today. It's interesting that it, you can hold that perfection of the present moment and still look towards growth. And I think the key is to not have a sense of like, there's something deeply flawed about myself, or I'm not good enough right now. I need to be better. I need to do more. I think that can be really counterproductive. But but when it's a sense of, I want to become this, I want to embody this, or um, stretch myself here. You know, you you mentioned growth mindset, and I that's so important. It's so important to want to do that, but from a place of realizing that we're already perfect.